Hello everyone, this is Lexi and welcome back with another video. Today is Wednesday, which means update day and I'm not gonna lie, I'm currently kind of stressed out. I'm gonna tell you why in a little bit. So, as you may know, Star Stable released the Pet of Terra in this update, which is basically gardening stuff in the hollow woods so we're going to check that out another thing is that the generation one frisian and frisian sport horses will leave on march 27th maybe i don't know look it up yourself please don't trust my information but anyways they are the next retiring horses and they are currently 300 star coins each on marley's farm so make sure to grab them before they leave if you want there was another thing there's some general ui update thingies and also now you can change the brightness, saturation, and contrast in your game. So honestly, that's the quickest to check out, so let's just do that. I feel like it fits the theme more, but it's definitely leaning towards a mobile UI design, so yeah. Why do I not have Shadow Zone? I just realized, hello. Have I been doing this the whole time? Oh my god, okay. Um. <laughs> so without any further ado, let's just get into it. Alright, so I was kind of contemplating between having the snow on or getting rid of the snowy theme because it is still winter, but why did they have to introduce the gardening now? Like, I don't want to do a gardening winter video, you know what I mean? But I also don't want to change my theme up in the middle of the season. So, I am i don't know, I'm still deciding. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Wildeer Village. Alright, so we are here. With my dear horse potato and can i whoa what happened here can i get rid of the pink icons they're really annoying and i don't know why they're turned on hello help okay also why is the trailer turned on i know where they are thank you i am not with my own setup oh right why i was frustrated earlier okay i will just put it on the screen right now but you can also find it on my community tab so yeah, basically you can either pause the video to read it or just go there and read it. Yeah, that pretty much sums up why I was frustrated. Oh look, a storage, that's cool. I got distracted easy. You have not unlocked any- uh, Okay, well- Ooh, okay, wait, hold on. Does this mean that we can buy this coat when we unlock it? That would be really cool. Where's the quest though? Oh, um, if anyone's curious, this is where I'm at with my pets currently. Wait. <laughs> yeah, I was confused. No, this is where I'm at with my pets currently. This just got unlocked. Yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> obviously no progression there. And I have... I thought I had more. Okay, well, I have 2,266 little teeny bingies. Where is the person that I have to talk to? Do I not have to talk to anyone? How does this work? I forgot. Do I do this? Oh, I think I, I think I have to unlock this. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Okay. Hello, dear Lila. Do you feel the earth calling to you? Of course. That's all I feel. Yes. Then let me welcome to you. <laughs> then let me welcome you to Willis Communal ga Garden. It's still the morning, and I'm still a teeny tiny bit frustrated. So please excuse me while my brain boots up to actually be able to read. It's a cozy area for druids to work closely with the earth and connect with nature. Hollow Woods is a magical place with unique flora and fauna. The wild seeds that you find out in the forest can be brought here to the garden and cultivated into amazing or even magical plants. But let's get you familiar with the basics first and you can try planting something. Wild seeds can be grown into any wild plant, but this time let's have you try planting some bee balm. Here, take this wild seed and follow me to the garden bed. To a uh, garden bed, I think it was, but it don't matter. Where did you go? <laughs> come back. Oh, never mind. Don't come back. Alright, I'm here. Do I have to press on it to be able to talk to you? Or do I just have to stand here? What do you want me to do? Oh, that's cool. At first I thought this said snowing and I was confused. What is that? Is that the amount of wild seeds that I have? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Okay. I have one less than it shows, but I assume that's from the quest. Um, okay, I choose this. What is this? Fertilizer. Okay, cool. <laughs> Excuse me. Lovely work, Lila. Well, thank you. Now we just have to wait for your plants to grow. Usually growing things takes time, but you can spend the wait doing other things if you want to. 
plant or harvest other things in the garden, explore the forest, have the other druids, or even leave hollow woods altogether and come back later if that is your wish. There's no rush to harvest your plants either, you can come back and continue working in the garden whenever it best suits you. This time, however, I will work my gardening expertise so you can harvest your plants straight away. One eternity later. See, it's already grown. Harvest the bee balm, Lila. Okay, I will do that. Perfectly done. I've already prepared three garden beds for planting and you are free to use them as much as you'd like. I will prepare more garden beds and explain the more advanced parts of gardening once I believe you're ready, Lila. Until then, hope you enjoy the garden. Okay, um, thank you. I don't know what to do right now, so I am going to look through what we can unlock. Learn to craft an enriching fertilizer that will help the gardens grow more abundantly. Talk to Gaia to learn more about rare plants. This will unlock the chance to grow new plants. What is this? Talk with Gaia to learn more about how the druids prepare special items from the plants in their gardens. This will unlock crafting consumables. Oh look, hair. <laughs> Um, the clothes are on level 4. I do not, I don't think I have enough to get there. I am really tempted to leave it here and let you guys explore it as well as let myself explore it off camera. What is this though? Rummaging through piles of leaves is a surefire way of finding seeds. Piles of leaves have a tiny chance of rewarding wild seeds. Alright, I'm really, really excited to progress with this. Talk with Gaia to learn more about how the druids prepare special items from the plants in their gardens. This will unlock crafting consumables. You know what, let's do this. And um, first of all, I want to see how long it would actually take for the plants to grow. Just out of curiosity. So let's plant flax. Because why not? Now does it say how long? Oh, I see you have kept yourself busy in the garden. Perhaps it's time to teach you the art of creating magical solutions from herbs. You may have wondered what we druids do with the plants we have harvested from the gardens. These plants are used for various purposes, crafting textiles for example, however due to their magical properties we believe careful mixing of the plants can lead to endless opportunities. I believe it's safe for me to trust you with the skill of crafting potent solutions. Why don't you head over to the workstation over there? I like how technically we were supposed to like get that red gardening and stuff before she showed us her skills. I didn't even plant a single plant after her quest, and I was able to, you know, master the techniques. Maybe I should shut up because I don't make any sense at this point. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. We combine different types of plants to yield amazing and sometimes unexpected results. This practice is what I call crafting solutions. It's all about mixing ingredients carefully together. The solutions provide all kinds of benefits thanks to the plant's magical properties. I left the recipe for you at the workstation. The more familiar you become with crafting solutions, the more advanced recipes will be trusted to you. But for now, why don't you stick with crafting hay for potato? <gasps> for me? I consider myself a true potato. Good luck with crafting, Lila. Soon enough you might learn more advanced recipes as well. And feel free to use my workstations anytime. Man, the thing is, I had this option available during the winter village update and I was really confused because it, it gave this option to me when I was uh, trying to take care of my horse and I was like what is this I don't remember this and then stupid editing me cut that part out it would have been interesting to leave it in <laughs> yeah I wish I could show you um do I do it here what do you mean I haven't unlocked any recipes what do I what what am I doing I am really confused in case you can't tell I thought I unlocked it. Did I not? Do I have to? Learn a recipe for a jar of wisdom. The magical contents of this jar increases your bond with your horse and gain XP. Friends nearby may be affected by the magical properties as well. Well, I'm gonna unlock it I guess. Do I have to talk to Gaia or do I just already have it? Or do I have to come here? Mm, okay, well, um, let's craft hay. I don't wanna craft hay. Maybe I have to. <laughs> Why does it not say there's an ongoing um quest though because i didn't have to man why am i what am i doing what do i need for jar of wisdom oh a lot of stuff all right well i'll be honest as you can see i don't have this quest line unlocked because i was really lazy but now i kind of really need it so um yeah let me just speed run through this a few moments later honestly i don't I, i'm not going to bore you 
that is pretty much it for this video thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed if you did please consider subscribing because it only takes a few seconds and it means a lot to me also please let me know your opinion about this update because i would love to hear it but yeah with that being said though i'll see you guys next time goodbye